Um, pictures here, courtesy of academics regarding Tory Lanez. So free Tory Lanez. Um, there's a picture here with Tory Lanez and his producer, ex-writer, engineer guy. Went to go visit him. So big up him. It says written by Ray in the caption. It says, I went to go visit my brother. Man had the freshest, cleanest pair of Air Force Ones I've ever seen. Spirit was so high. Energy was so great. We're standing with you forever. You'll be home soon. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? This guy's in prison, right? It's kind of crazy. Because the the likelihood of it is he didn't shoot that girl. Like, we all know that, right? We all know he didn't probably shoot her. Unfortunately, was he involved in the whole drama? Yes. Did he play a significant part in maybe causing the beef? Yes. Because I still believe as a man, you should always de-escalate situations, especially between women. You should never be in between women trying to basically stoke the fires and get them to go crazy. So... Tory Lanez's first mistake was obviously leading with his dick, thinking he could go to this house party and fuck Kylie Jenner and fuck fucking Megan and fuck her friend Kelsey. He did too much. But also the story that alleges happened when they were in the car leaving, he allegedly kind of confessed to Megan or broke the news to Megan or no, broke news to Kelsey that he was fake fucking Megan behind her back. And then obviously the girls got into a fight and that's what led to the gun thing. So I think Tory did too much anyway. He played a, too much of a role in it. But it is quite sad to see him in prison, knowing most likely he didn't shoot that girl. You know, that's a sad thing to see. Um, and he's having to just to hold it because, you know, I guess when it comes to these sort of trials and court cases and shit, they have to kind of maybe, I guess, um, judge who's the most likely to have shot her. And maybe that's how it got. I don't know if that makes any sense, like probable cause, right? Who's the most probable, um, you know, person that would have done it. And obviously all fingers would point to Tori and um, considering what was going on. And then of course with Kelsey's immunity, she obviously couldn't get charged. So it's just sad to see him in jail. I'm not going to lie. It's just sad to see him there. Um, but there's actually an interesting video that happened off the back of it. Have you guys seen the video? So Megan Thee Stallion decided to get on Instagram live and speak about everything that happened um, because essentially the driver of the car that took Megan, Tori and Kelsey to Kylie's house and then took them home, which then was at the center of the shooting, that driver came out recently and made a statement, right? And the statement the driver made was pretty damning because it kind of, again, goes back to the theory that everyone's saying that most likely Kelsey, Megan's best friend, was the one that shot Megan and not Tory. So um, the driver disappeared during the court case. He wasn't around. I'm not too sure why. But now he's popped back up and he's now, you know, providing information that he saw Kelsey with a gun. So let's read the statement here. This is cut. This is what was submitted via court, via Mobs World. It says here in the highlighted text, um, Smith was going to testify to the following as contained in the verified statements. Although Smith did not see if the petitioner or Harris physically discharged the weapon, he saw Harris in possession of such, which Kelsey is Harris, right? Kelsey is Harris. Smith also stated, um, Smith stated, sorry, after he pulled the vehicle over, it was Harris and Pete who began to fight to which he intervened. It was Smith who pulled Pete around the back of the car and heard a weapon fire. So he's basically alleging that he saw Kelsey fire the gun. So that is obviously some damning evidence. And that obviously got submitted to court. Um, the documents here, the affidavit, um, it says here, my name is Jaquan Smith. I'm over the age of 18. I first had knowledge of the of the facts of the question that took place in January, July 12, 2020. Um, it's a driver, the bodyguard, blah, blah, blah. Um, so Megan decided to clap back because that guy put out information that basically called her a liar. And now she's going crazy on Instagram live and basically telling everybody that they don't know what they're talking about. So let's play a little bit of video now. No cap, she looks fucking beautiful in that blonde wig though. She looks absolutely gorgeous in that blonde wig. I think she's lost a ton, ton of weight as well. She's looking absolutely scrumptious in that wig. And now that she's lost a couple of pounds and shit, she looks really, really good. She's always looked good anyway, but, you know, objectively speaking, she looks good here. Um, Uche, what's good? Um, Uche's saying, why is the driver coming out now? I have no idea. That That's the dicey, fishy part of the story. I don't know why the driver's only coming out now. He should have maybe helped her. If he, if he knows the truth, he should have maybe said his piece during the court case that would have maybe helped i don't know if it would have actually helped though to be fair um because i don't think tory's team did enough really to sell the case that he didn't shoot her do you know what i mean i think they just assumed because the case was some had because the case has so many holes in it right megan never wanted to admit 
that she fucked Tori. She never went to admit that she got into a fight with Kelsey. She never went to admit that there was any sort of passer with Kylie in the house. There were so many holes in the story that I think Tori's team took it for granted and just thought they were going to get a non-guilty charge, a non-guilty verdict. But obviously in these sort of cases, you have to prove that you're innocent. You don't just let the evidence speak for itself. That's how I think the American court system works. Or maybe most court system works like that probably, isn't it? You have to prove you're not guilty. You don't have to just let the court case go as it is. But hey, what do I know? Okay, come on, talk, lady, talk. Well, I'm getting ready to go work out. I'm getting ready to go work out, and I've really been trying to figure out like the approach in my life to take with anything these days because I feel like I feel like how do you feel tell us it doesn't matter uh -huh. about getting on line mm -hmm. and trying to prove yourself to people who probably don't like you anyway or true. don't want to believe you anyway Very true. my hair looks crazy because I had a shoe yesterday but um I feel like I'm tired of having to explain to motherfuckers anything about my life when y'all don't want to hear it anyway like i can true. go here and be like i ain't fuck that nigga i don't know that nigga i ain't do that and y'all gonna be like liar very true she's a liar uh -huh. yes you did uh -huh. you did it because whoop de whoop said you did and blah 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 i feel like it'll be pointless for me to get online and be like that didn't happen that's not what it is because y'all don't want to believe me no way so why are you telling us then but i guess that's the problem with living on the internet it's really impossible to resist that urge not to get on the internet and clap back, even when you know you shouldn't do it. You know? That's probably the problem with it. It's really hard not to do it, especially when you're as famous as she is. Her mentions are probably going crazy. She's getting tagged every kind of post. It's really hard to, it's really hard to resist the, the temptation to not go live. But you shouldn't really. Now, what I will say is, because I want to stick to my points because I really got to go. But... I love this passive aggressive. I don't have time for you guys. I'm going to the gym. I gotta go, bro. If you gotta go, go. Why are you here? You know what I mean, this I don't have time for this. I don't need you to do this type of stuff. It's like, bro, you're already here. If you're gonna get messy, just get messy. There was a point in my life. There was a point in my life where I was so low and I was so sad and I was drinking like a motherfucker. I was turning up. I was doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do. I was definitely outside. So she's finally admitting that she was an alcoholic a bit. Because that was a rumor going around, didn't it? That Megan liked to turn up too much. Which is funny, isn't it? Imagine being in hip hop with uh, those amounts of degenerates, right? Everybody's on drugs. Everybody's drinking. But people would say that Megan gets crazy turned up. So she was definitely, must have been drinking heavily. And she's a big girl. So she could probably put them down. She looked like she's probably 5'11", 6 foot. So she could probably put them down, you know? She's very athletically built. So you can imagine this woman can drink. So it's funny that she's... She, it's funny she's admitting it now, to be fair. That was my business. I was outside before I had a relationship. When I got in my relationship, after I got shot and everything, like, I think I was still going off adrenaline. I wasn't grieving my parents. I wasn't doing... I, I had never really reacted to all the bad shit that had happened to me. So when I got in my relationship and I finally just sat down with one person, like, I felt like, Ugh. okay, now I could just be as depressed as I want to be. I want to be sad. I want to cry. I want to fucking tell you everything. I want to tell you my whole life story. And that was my friends at the time too. Everybody around. You know what I'm thinking? Just thinking about this story as she's laying down here. I wonder if part of her problem is the optics. When she got shot or when the shooting happened, I remember people being very skeptical about the story from minute one because she started partying straight away. Do you remember? I think the official, the first pic we saw of her when she got shot was like a picture of her, maybe with DJ Khaled or something, with her foot taped up. I remember that was a, some picture of her when Sandals with her foot taped up and she was with DJ Khaled or she, went, she was out in a club twerking. So maybe it was that she wasn't, she wasn't like, being a victim you know that's funny for me to say but maybe she didn't really play she didn't really sell the lie she didn't really sell the scenario sell the situation well enough that's probably the issue who knows me at that 
that time saw how hard I was going. They saw how sad I was. They saw how much I drank. Nobody in my life at that time was like, Megan, let's not go out tonight. Megan, let's not turn up tonight. Megan, you don't got to do that. Everybody was down with the motherfucking shenanigans. I'll be crying before I walk in a party and bitches will be like, come on, bitch, let's go. You know, I'm crying with my nigga. <laughs> Why you always crying? You know what I'm saying? Like, people saw me be low as fuck. Once I went and got help, once I got therapy, once I fucking decided... I need to love myself. I need to value myself. Because I don't love myself. I'm not valuing myself. I'm fucking up. I'm crashing out. Once I start realizing, ah, you're crashing, bitch. You need to fucking... You need to get your shit together because you're crashing. And I cleaned out the house. Everybody from my past was shook. Like, they was like, I can't believe this bitch not talking to me. What the fuck? How am I blocked? Why is this? Why is that? Bitch, you fake as fuck. You don't want to fuck with me. da 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 I was down with you. I don't have any problem with anybody from my past. I, will, I don't have anything negative to say about anybody from my past. I don't want to talk bad about those people. Everybody is in your life for a reason or a season. You go your way, I go my way. Okay. I don't have nothing bad to say about y'all. But you're gonna I don't say have it, nothing bad to say about anybody that I used to. You're about to say it though. To deal with, I don't have nothing bad to say about nobody I used to be friends with. You're Thank gonna you say so it. much for the purpose that you served. Thank you for helping. <laughs> for the purpose you served. <laughs> for me realize I needed to grow. I'm never gonna trash talk nobody that I used to be cool with. Like, I don't have nothing bad to say about y'all. I don't know why. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why me trying to better myself and be a new person is bothering people so bad. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. And I, and I, I don't want to keep this long because I know people are going to chop this up the way they want to chop it up and twist my words and mm -hmm. make me something else. But I just feel like I'm Megan Thee Stallion and I just want to be Megan Thee Stallion. I mm -hmm. just want to drop my music. I just want to talk to the hotties. I just want to shake my ass. I want to have as much fun with this shit as I used to. But it seems like every time I take a step forward to heal and do something different, motherfuckers be like, no, come back. Get your ass back to this negativity. Come back this way. You, you're not supposed to be smiling right now. You're not supposed to still be getting deals. You're not supposed to be in movies. You're not supposed to be recording albums. You're supposed to be sad where you was with me two, three years ago. When I got in a relationship, all that shit was deleted. I was sat the fuck down. I was sat. I was seated. I was very much happy where I was at. I guess she's trying to address the rumor that she was fucking loads of guys while she was at that party, dude. If if this if this man is saying I didn't cheat on her, I didn't do that. Well, why the fuck is you responding to me? Do you know how many niggas y'all claim I done fucked with? Why are you answering? Why are you trying to make that shoe fit? Was it you getting your dicks up in the same spot I was sleeping? If you say it wasn't true, why the hell is you dissing me? It's just so messy. So fucking messy. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Why are you talking to me? I wasn't, if you say I wasn't talking to you, I wasn't talking to you. Like, you just wanted to fucking find a reason to bash me. It's, it seems very strategic. Like, it feels like they getting on Megan ass. All right, let me go get on her ass too. Like, if I'm not talking about you, why the hell are you talking about me? Like, I thought you were going to the gym. What's happening? And should I not defend myself? Like, should I not come on here and say, what? If I was her, I wouldn't. Even if, let's, let's believe that she didn't lie. Let's believe that it actually happened and Tory Lanez did shoot her. You don't need to talk anymore. The guy's in jail. The guy's in fucking federal prison. Not even jail, he's in fucking prison. He's got like, what, what, how many years did he get? Did he get like 10 years or something crazy like that? He's in prison for a long time. Like, you won. You're still out here. You got a career. Everything's good. Why are you talking? That's what I would do. There's no need to lie. There's no need to even clap back. Just keep your mouth quiet and keep it moving. Like, but the fact that she is clapping back makes me believe that maybe there's some truth to this theory that maybe the shooting didn't happen like she said it happened because the lady doth protest too much. I don't have anything bad to say about my ex. I genuinely don't. Like, if I'm not talking about you, why are you talking about me? And it's such a sensitive topic too, because I think there's so many situations where this can happen, 
where you get like if people get false layer clues. That's why people are, 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 I think, are kind of so invested in it. The whole false allegation thing is a big deal. So if there's an element of of someone being falsely accused, people are going to still follow the story because they want to see the conclusion of it. So there's always going to be interest around it. I just think if you're Megan, you really gain nothing from addressing it. No, like the people that don't want to believe you are never going to believe you. The people that are indifferent are going to remain indifferent. The people that are neutral or ne different or neutral are going to remain ne indifferent or neutral. And the people that do believe you are going to believe you. Why are you worried? It really doesn't make any sense. You say, I didn't cheat. So why you thought that bar was for you? Why are you making the shoe fit, Cinderella? Like, you squeezing your foot in there, friend. If it wasn't you, why the hell is you talking to me? That doesn't make sense. And I don't feel like I should have to explain myself, but you know, it, I'm, I'm not that big of a person yet. God ain't finished with me. He's still working. And then one more thing before I go. Um, I'm trying to move on from being shot the best I can. I still wake up in the middle of the night crying. People, especially people that I used to be cool with, they know how bad social media affect me. Everybody in my life knew how bad social media would make me cry. Like I would get online and see people say some terrible shit and I'd be like, oh my God, everybody hates me, it's over. So the people who attack me that I used to be cool with, they know exactly where to hit me, where it hurt okay. because they think that I'm still on that type time, like mm -hmm. social media gonna hurt my feelings. Motherfuckers is getting denied every time they try to set a motion for a new trial. So they're trying to pull shit out the air. Like, mm, I don't think that's true, though, isn't it? I don't think that's true. But I get what she's saying, but I don't think that's true. I don't think the trials, it's not. Jesus, look at her face in that pause. Demonic thoughts. Demonic fucking thoughts. Look at her face in that fucking pause screen. Demonic fucking thoughts. Demonic thoughts are seeping into my brain right now, which I'm not going to share. <laughs> okay let's do this now i'm not about to keep going with y'all y'all defending somebody who didn't even take the stand and defend themselves okay that's a that's a good point i always wondered why tory didn't get on a stand and defend himself but allegedly his counsel told him it wouldn't have served any purpose and it would have harmed him because then he would have been open he would have opened himself up to being cross-examined and that maybe would have done more harm than good that's a huge that's a reason i've i've heard online and again, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if if I would, if I still agree with that. I would have probably, if I was Tory and you're fighting for your life, I'm going to do everything possible to make sure I don't go to prison. So if that means me getting on the stand and if that means me opening myself up to the you know, prosecution coming after me, fair enough, I'm going to do it. But I'm not going to not give myself a chance, you know? You kind of fucked up with that. Y'all going back and forth about facts. Y'all could go read real shit like y'all literally believe anything if it's bold and in all caps that's like, funny go read that's funny though she's taking the piss out of the, uh, the instagram bot instagram pages believe everything in bold and all caps that's hilarious Be something that's gonna take you a minute to sit down and have a good read like go read something that's gonna make you have to do some critical <laughs> thinking not a thing that is curated by bots and blogs that hate me like y'all y'all need to sit down and have a good read like Imagine somebody saying that they did not commit a crime and not defending themselves to the T. Imagine y'all saying somebody is following. Smiling like that when someone's in prison is a bit wild, to be fair. Having no empathy or sympathy for their situation, their plight. When you consider what went on, that's the thing, because you have to imagine, again, there's nothing that could justify a woman being shot by a dude, obviously. But it's not like he just rocked up to her house and pulled out a strap and shot her. There was stuff that happened that led up to it unfortunate situations right and it happened in 2020 surely you know you can't be holding the same resentment you had in 2020 until now really so you'd think once a person gets sentenced and stuff you'd have a little bit of like you know i wouldn't say empathy i don't know sympathy for their situation you probably still say you probably still say fuck them but you wouldn't be smiling about it when you think about them sitting in prison do you know what i mean that's the thing that's a little bit dark-hearted and soulless about her but again maybe because she actually doesn't like the guy fair but i don't know Following the street code, not snitching. Are you snitching or are you not snitching? Because y'all trying to pretend like Kelsey shot me. Kelsey didn't motherfucking shoot me. And I really wonder why she, her main problem with me was, you won't tell people I didn't shoot you. I, I love how she's not, and again, this is something that's really strange. I think, again, I'm going to stop it here. But I think the main issue, I think even Adriano, who said it here? Adriano said, but I think the main issue here is this. About said, um, hell, hell have no fury like a woman scorned. I think hell have no fury like a woman exposed. I think women, different to men, 
especially women that are sexually promiscuous, right? I think horny, whorish, slaggish women, especially the ones that don't want their friends to know, are very protective of how they are behind closed doors. They don't want people to know that they're horny and they're slaggish for some reason. I think guys are a bit more open with them. I think women don't like people knowing. So if you do expose them and they have this image of being a somewhat perfect person, they will do everything in their power to make sure that they silence you to make sure that you shut the fuck up so i think that's what might have happened i think she got so tricked she got so um hurt and so disrespected and she was so angry when tori exposed the fact that he was smashing her and kelsey or he's smashing her to kelsey you know what i mean but i'd never liked to think that she never really owned up to the fact that she kind of betrayed her friend because the story goes that tori and kelsey her former best friend were hooking up first um megan basically introduced them to each other and then megan behind her friend's back when she got COVID. man this is the story that makes it worse that kelsey girl got covid and then megan started fucking tory while that girl had covid <laughs> the most like you know backstabbery thing you could ever do and the fact that she never admitted that or never spoke about that was really kind of lame because that's what obviously led to the the gun shit but yeah i think that's what might have happened i think megan didn't like the fact that the Tory thing would have opened up a whole can of worms. I think because she's a smart girl, right? I think she knew once that once that shooting thing happened and once people saw the hell of the truth, it would reveal loads of other things, you know? It would reveal all the things. Exactly, 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 Adriana. I think she realized at the time when that shooting happened, people would find out, okay, if she had a boyfriend, the boyfriend would find out that she was fucking Tory. And then people would find out that she was also fucking enough. Because I think at the same time she was fucking Tory, the baby come out and said, yeah, I fucked her too. Right? So it was all these people coming out, putting their hand up, saying they fucked her. So I think she knew that was going to happen. So she went to change the narrative and kind of, you know, make sure Tory shut the fuck up. And she did. You know, he's in prison now. So it kind of is what it is. But um, free Tory, because I still think it's sad and out of order that he's in prison if he didn't do the crime that he's been accused of. Um if he is guilty, then, you know, whatever. But I don't think he is. Personally, based on the information that I've kind of read online and stuff and the things that I've seen, it seems more probable that the Kelsey girl is the one that shot Megan. Or my main theory has been, it seems more probable that because Megan and Kelsey were fighting in a car and allegedly Megan was beating that Kelsey girl's ass because she's huge, right, compared to Kelsey, and that Kelsey girl felt like she was losing, she went to the front of the car and grabbed the gun because she knew where it was. And then I think in that instant when she grabbed the gun, Toria then went to go and wrestle Kelsey and say, hey, don't shoot her. And the, as they were wrestling and trying to get the, the gun off her, the gun went off and it shot her in the, in the foot or it kind of ricocheted off the foot. And obviously at that time, Tori either had the gun or they both were holding it. You know, I think that's what happened, basically. Um, that's my theory. I think I, I don't think anybody directly shot her in the foot. Like, hey, point blank. I think it was more so like a, a struggle for the gun and it went off. Or even if someone did shoot her, I think it was more so Kelsey than it was Tori. Um, I don't think there's any probable cause for it. Do you know what I mean? Um, but hey, what do I know? But I'm also, if I was Megan and I told that lie, because if think about it if you're Megan's point of view. If you're Megan and you, this guy's exposing your lifestyle and what you get up to, I'm lying. I don't give a fuck. I'm lying and I'm putting you in prison. Do you know what I mean? Like, I understand why she's lying. I understand why she put the guy in prison. I get it. But you have to just stand by your lie and you have to shut the fuck up. You can't keep going on Instagram live and talking and shit because you sound crazy. People are not going to believe you. They're going to think you're lying way more now than ever. Um, just mind your business, make your music and keep it moving. It's like the, it's like the Gunner thing. Look at Gunner. Gunner clearly snitched to get out of prison or to get out of jail sooner, right? He clearly cooperated. We see the fucking yes man video footage. But instead of explaining himself and trying to convince people that he's not a snitch, he just made music. Everybody knows he is one. You know, it is what it is. He just made music. Just put your head down and make the music. Just whatever. You can't change people's opinion on what you did. They're going to have their opinions. They're going to have their point of views. It is what it is. Just keep it moving. I think that's what Megan should have done. She should have sat down, focused on her craft, focused on the music and just keep it moving. You don't need to do those Instagram videos, to be fair. But what do I know?